Hey guys, happy new year to everyone. I hope you're all doing really well and that you were able to enjoy the holiday season. And I do wish that you have the best year, <laughs> um, that this is the best year that you can possibly have, all right, concerning the circumstances especially. So with that said, today's reading, it's a little bit late, but that's okay. Um, I am here. So we're gonna be looking into divine soulmate connections where there is a karmic person, karmic situation on the masculine side that is serving as a barrier to the connection with the feminine. So I know that a lot of feminines are also involved in karmic situations that are possibly needing to close out. So just take the messages as they resonate, okay? Because some of the masculine energy can apply to the feminines, all right? Also, I do these readings as if it is a romantic partner, but it does not have to be. It can be just about any person or even situation or even a group of people. Okay, so yeah. Take it however it makes sense for you, if it does, keeping in mind that it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. Not every reading can resonate with everybody. Um, what else? If you would like a personal reading from me, all that information is in the description box. And I think that's it. I think that's it. So let's get into this and see what's going on. We're going to look at the masculine's energy first. And then we'll also take a, a look at the feminine's energy a bit too. So what is going on with the masculine? Energy, what can we know? Ooh, okay, we have two. So we have man holding a heart and we also have envy. Okay. There are two different messages that are coming through. Number maybe even three. Um, because it's going to be different for different groups of people. Hopefully you will know what resonates for you. Um, for one group, it's the, the masculine is obviously holding a lot of love for their feminine, all right? Because this is a divine soul connection. So if you don't feel that, then this type of a reading is probably not for your situation. So there is a lot of love um, that the masculine is holding for their feminine. They are very much aware of this, but there's also some envy here. And this could be for some of you, especially if you are open to other options or if the, if the masculine has discovered or knows about you possibly entertaining other other options here, or other possibilities. And for some of them, it could even just be on an energetic level. Um, so that's for one group of you. For another group, and some of these might actually like overlap, so you might find that, that all of these messages make sense for you. Um, so for another group, the masculine is actually feeling envious um, just of you, not necessarily in regards to another connection that might be coming into your life but just the the f fact that you are free more free for example that you are doing what you want to do you are living your life more authentically you know anything along those lines and then for yet another group I am getting that they are actually the quote-unquote victim of envy okay which would be from their karmic partner okay or person if that probably won't resonate so much if it's like a, a situation but if it's a group of people or a particular person there's i'm picking up that this is actually going to be true for a lot of you in this group that we are reading for today there is some envy here from the karmic person towards the masculine and the reason why is because they are picking up on the fact that the masculine's heart is actually dedicated somewhere else so let's get a couple more all right and we have number two which is distractions okay so this I feel like this is actually a separate um, a separate energy here from what I was just talking about. I feel like this is just the masculine, yeah, trying to distract themselves, trying to distract themselves 
from all of this because this envy, whatever it is, whether it is from their karmic partner towards them or whether it is them feeling envious of their feminine, which again, I, I feel like for a lot of you, all of these messages are going to be true. Um, it's a little bit intense. So they're trying to distract themselves so that they don't feel that unpleasantness of that envious emotion. All right. So let's get into the tarot. We're going to take a look at the masculine's energy towards their karmic partner or situation first, and then we'll look at their energy towards their feminine. So let's see. What is their general energy currently towards their karmic situation? All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords in reverse. There's something here that they're trying to... I feel like there's something that they're trying to bring out into the open. They're trying to organize something. But... A, at the current time, they're not fully presenting it. It's like they're holding back whatever it is that they're trying to organize. So we might clarify some of these and figure out what that is. Um, yeah, we're going to clarify. But let me just get a couple more. Let's see what's going on in their headspace and emotionally. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Wands. Okay, so which the Four of Wands was like completely sideways. Okay, so what I'm getting here, first of all, we are getting the emotional aspect showing up here as well with this Ten of Cups being in reverse. Um, obviously this is not being happy, not being fulfilled, right? But I feel like this is information that we are kind of already aware of. So, so what this is saying is that the masculines are actually thinking about the fact that mm, they're feeling like whatever it is that they're trying to organize here with that seven of pentacles that it's going to lead to somebody feeling lost right somebody feeling like they're abandoned left out in the cold and i feel like that's what they're feeling about the um the karmic um situation here or the karmic partner almost like with this four of wands right whatever it is that they that they have together that that is actually going to now be um abandoned but they're feeling this already. They're feeling this loneliness within the connection. And even though there might be, for some of them, they might have a family, right? That's what this Four of Wands could be representing here for those who do have a family. Or for those who do have some kind of, um, some kind of an investment maybe together where it's actually serving as a foundation for the both of them. I feel like they're, they're thinking a lot about how if they were to walk away from this, that that is actually going to um, bring that to an end. And it, it, to them, it feels like they would be abandoning. But that's what that's the energy that they are in, though. They're in the energy of actually um, abandoning this because they do feel like they are abandoned as well in some way. Like they're, they're feeling this loneliness, like they have been left out in the cold just in their own life, not necessarily by the karmic person, not by their feminine, just that that's where they are now. And I feel like this has to do with their own sense of, or the, the fact that they were deceiving their own self um, at some point. But, it, but even that is not an accurate statement because it's not that they were deceiving themselves, it's that they had to learn certain lessons. They had to um, learn certain things about themselves, number one, and number two, they also needed to close out karma as well from previous lives. 
with this karmic person that they are that they're in a connection with so it's not really deceit I'm even getting with that five of swords being in reverse that in their general energy here it's that they don't want to be manipulated because I feel like with that envy card um, for those of you that it resonates that it's the um, karmic partner who is envious right and might actually for some of them because I I tend to associate this envy card with negative energy as well um, either consciously or subconsciously and it's like the masculine does not want to be manipulated by that anymore and so this is why in their headspace here as well as in what they're feeling it's like they want to abandon this and they feel they feel betrayed they feel abandoned as well so really interesting the way that this um is showing up here let's let's clarify a little bit let's see that seven of pentacles Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Moon in reverse. Whatever it is that they are, because for me the um, the Queen of Pentacles does represent the karmic partner. Whatever it is that they are trying to organize, almost like coming up with a plan or trying to um, formulate some kind of some kind of steps that they want to take. I feel like it is based off of something that has come to light about this person. I feel like there is something that they have recently found out. All right, that's why we have the moon in reverse here, right? Something that was hidden is now revealed and it has to do with, with the person that they are currently with. And whatever that is, obviously, whatever it is that they discovered, it's not positive having the Queen of Pentacles in reverse as well, just emphasizing that even more. And this is pretty consistent with, I feel like, um, I think it was in one or two readings over the holidays where I was saying that there is something that they are going to find out. And so here I feel like this is something that has now already happened. So, but whatever that is, it's like they're still, I feel like they're still holding back a little bit. They're not fully presenting it, but they're trying to find a way like around it so that they are not manipulated anymore. So they have, most likely they have found out about something that um, was a little bit deceitful, maybe dishonest. Let's see, let's clarify that five of swords. Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, because what they're realizing here, and that's why they don't want to be manipulated, is that there really is, this isn't true love. It's not the type of love that that is honest, right? That is genuine. Something here about the love or some kind of loving gestures were manipulative from the karmic partner towards the masculine. I feel like that might even be related to what it is that they have that they have discovered. All right, let's see this bottom row. <clears throat> the 10 of wands in reverse. Okay, so if they were feeling like you know, if they were taking on this victim role of, you know, I can't abandon this person or, you know, if I abandon them, then, you know, I'm going to be left alone or I won't know what to do or I'm the one who's going to be, um, you know, financially unstable or whatever, whatever the, the case might be. Or maybe even worried about leaving um, the karmic person in an, in, a, in an unstable financial situation. They're releasing that. This is some kind of a responsibility um, or perceived um, responsibility that they have been carrying on their shoulders for a while. And it's like, now, no, it's like they're ready to release that. It's like this realization that, you know what? Yeah, someone is going to have to be left out. Somebody might feel abandoned. Somebody might feel rejected. But realizing that that's not their responsibility to carry. And again, I feel like one of the reasons why they are now accepting that and not feeling like it's their responsibility to make sure that 
that the karmic partner um, feels okay with all of this is because they have discovered that the karmic partner was not honest to begin with. So again, I feel like these are very specific messages, so it's not going to it's not going to be everybody's situation, that's for sure. We're just tapping into a more specific group here. All right, let's see the four of wands. Yes. The six of swords. See, there it is. It's like ready to walk away, ready to move away from from this foundation. Even if there is a family, even if if you know there is something that was very secure here, that was um, very solid, an investment, whatever. Realizing that that actually um, causes more conflict than it does happiness. Just because something you built something and invested in it, it doesn't mean that it automatically just brings you happiness and fulfillment and so this is them moving away from that wow so let's move on to see what uh, what their energy is towards their feminine counterpart here have the five of cups the page of swords and the sun in reverse okay wow there is a lot of depression here when it comes to you um, their energy towards you feeling um, a lot of grief a lot of sorrow loss guilt even for some of them very very unhappy um, with where you stand at the moment With the Page of Swords also being in the middle here, if you're not in communication, they're definitely keeping an eye on you. Definitely interested in what might be going on with you. I'm even getting with that Page of Swords that um, for some of you, if you have been, um, if you're not in communication and you've been giving like subtle signs to your masculine, they're picking up on that. Like, um, it could be anything. It could be... I don't know, making like a post on social media and using some kind of symbolism that, you know, um, that would be specific between the two of you that only they would know. You know, little things like that. They're picking up on that. Um, or it could even be, it could be energetic, you know, like meditating and, and sending them love, for example. And again, not only that, it's like whatever it is that they might be seeing, or this could even be them seeing um, other things that you are doing in your life, which is also making them feel that envy towards you and throwing them off in this really, really sad um, state here. All right, let's get one more room. the Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so definitely a lot of love here. Um, again, I feel like that's not something we don't already know, but they're really feeling this, right? This Queen of Cups, I feel like this is also them intuitively um, picking up on that unconditional love that is there between the two of you, really feeling their emotions. Um, this, for whatever reason, this is actually um, giving them some kind of a drive, some kind of a, of a push. But I feel, again, like at the moment, it's more on an energetic level than it is in the practical because we do have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like they haven't, um, they're not really taking physical steps towards their feminine at the moment, but there is a lot of drive and a lot of desire at the moment for you. And, I mean, we do have two pages, right? So, this is them also wanting to communicate if you're not in communication or just really being interested in what is going on with you. And again, I feel like they are finding out information about you um, if you're not in contact. If you are in contact, you know, maybe you're <laughs> just um, openly providing that information to them. 
again, I feel like whatever that information is, if you are um, either keeping your distance, keeping your options open, or whatever, it there's grief here. There's grief. So I don't know what it is that may have happened. Uh, let's clarify. Let's see the five of cups. The Seven of Swords and the Four of Wands. There's regret here and there's guilt here that they turned their back to the connection with you and to whatever it is that was stable between the two of you at some point. And if they, if you feel like your connection was never stable, then it's just you know the energy of that, the the potential of that what they feel energetically as this connection, right, with the Four of Wands. For some of you, I'm even getting that um, maybe there were plans, right, for some kind of a celebration, for a reconciliation, maybe even for engagement, marriage, okay? It's going to be different for all of you, but um, for some of you, that's what I'm getting here. And, you know, they walked away. They walked away from that. And so at the moment, it's like they're thinking about that, and there's a lot of grief and sadness um, surrounding that. Let's see the Page of Swords. It's, it's like they're feeling like, you know, they didn't follow their truth. And that's why we also have the Sun in Reverse. All right, so for the Page of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. They're putting in a lot of energy here, um, figuring out what it is that you are up to and what it is that you are doing. A lot of energy into this. And again, even with that Six of Wands, it's like I see this as them seeing you as that Six of Wands. You know, either that there are others approaching you, um, you know, trying to win you over, or just you being very, very successful, which, you know, I mean, that, not that they wouldn't be happy for you, but the more that you are moving on and, and being, being successful, it's like the more that they feel like they are lagging behind. See the Queen of Cups. Okay, I'm just gonna take the first one here. It is the Eight of Wands. Yeah, so give me one sec. Because that was too many that I ended up dropping. All right. Definitely wanting to communicate. I feel like they're they're feeling this drive. Like like I said before, they're feeling this drive. They're being driven by their emotions at the moment, and I feel like that's also part of the reason why they are um, having the realizations and doing whatever it is that they're doing here when it comes to the karmic situation, right? Like releasing that sense of responsibility, um, which may have been holding them back and hold keeping them tied to this. Or releasing, you know, that any guilt that may have been here concerning abandoning. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, see, the emotions are there. The emotions are showing up again. It's just really a matter of taking that that step in the 3D, in the physical. So it's like, at the moment, I feel like the masculine is actually holding back on a physical level from you, but when it comes to their emotions, I mean, their emotions are just um, really, really strong at the moment. It's like, oh, I, it almost feels like they're giving you their emotions, but they're not giving you their body, their physical body, if that makes sense. Um, so whatever that means to you. So it could be that they're expressing emotions in different ways, but just not able to physically be there with you. Okay. Let's 
let's see the feminine's energy. So I'm just going to take a quick look. All right, so for the feminines, we have appreciation. Let me get one more here. And we also have number six, which is innocence. All right, so yeah, kind of similar energies here. This is actually really positive because these both of these cards are very high vibe energies. And it could be that some of you are not really feeling exactly that, but I feel like you are at least trying to, or this is what you are working towards, possibly with your higher self, with your spirit team. Um, you may or may not be aware of it. But this appreciation, it's all about, um, it's being grateful for what it is that you might have been learning through this or whatever whatever growth this experience has given to you. That's number one. Number two, I'm also getting that with this appreciation. It's being able to just appreciate the situation for what it is. Being able to just accept it, settling in it. And that's why we have this innocence card. It's like not judging it, not... Um, not oh my gosh <laughs> i am like so tired today this is like why i can't speak and i'm having trouble finding the words um not holding grudges right or resentment that's the word i was looking for um releasing those things purity right this card is also all about forgiveness forgiving your own self as well as the masculine and just appreciating the situation for what it is at the moment like it is what it is and that's easier said than done so i'm not saying that you are 100 percent there but i feel like you know this is what you are working with and it's okay you might never be 100 percent there you know like i say um even when you are detaching you might feel like you need to completely get over the masculine so that you can move on but that's that's a very high expectation to have of yourself and then when you do that it, it can be forced and when it's forced it doesn't work so this is why i always say you know you don't have to try to get over them just try to deal with the situation as it is accepting accepting what it is yes detaching from the expectation from the outcome but that doesn't mean you need to pressure yourself to get over them and to not ever think about about them It's just a matter of managing the emotions associated with this. All right, so I'm just going to get a couple tarot cards for you, just two or three. All right, and I feel like all of these are meant to come in upright. So we have... The Eight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Hierophant. I actually feel like the Seven of Cups may have been first. doesn't really matter. I feel like this is actually very similar to what I was just saying. Um, it's all about detaching from whatever is is an illusion and i feel like one of the illusions or something that you have tried to really push yourself towards is to um completely forget about the masculine at some point okay for some of you not all of you obviously and it's kind of like distancing yourself from that like being able to detach in a way where it's actually going to be beneficial for you and this is also saying it's okay to not know sometimes. It's okay to have some confusion about how you feel and, you know, are you detaching? Are you not detaching? What's going to happen? And what if you don't detach and the masculine, you know, doesn't um, ever come, come forward, right? Now, what if the masculine doesn't resolve their karmic issues and I haven't detached, then what? It's, it's kind of like that. that's what I'm getting here with that Seven of Cups. But it's like you're learning how to move away from that kind of an energy. 
it's like accepting what this the nature of this connection you know that there is the spiritual connection and it will always be there regardless of what happens but again being able to keep that emotional distance where you're just not triggered by it so i feel like that's actually like one of the lessons or part of one of the lessons that the feminines are learning all right so I've kind of stopped looking into the near future energies um, in these readings, but I will pull just, just a couple. So let's see for the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation here, what is coming up for them in the next couple of weeks or so. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, so the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so they're they're pushing through here. They're moving away, if you can see the way the way that I'm seeing this, they're moving away from what it is that does not make them happy, from what it is that does not fulfill them, from a situation that may have even been selfish, okay, in certain circumstances. And this is them not giving up. It's like they're almost there, they're almost at this point where they are completely unstuck or untrapped from this or from whatever it is that was keeping them stuck here. So definitely moving in that direction. I'm not going to get um, too much details here because there really is no need to, but this is just giving us that, that message that this is what they're moving towards. It is taking a little bit of time still, okay, because it's the nine of wands, but it's also that saying that this group here is close to that finish line and they're not giving up. I feel like they are going through like little phases where they feel like giving up because certain things just feel so difficult with this, but ultimately though they're not. So let's see their energy in the near future for their feminines. All right, so we have the Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and then the Seven of Swords in reverse. All right, very interesting because this is, again, it's like a lot of drive and a lot of movement forward towards success. And not only that, it's like wanting to achieve you is the way it's coming in, wanting to win, wanting this to be a successful resolution with my feminine. And when I say re resolution, um, that obviously means to reunite or to be, um, to come after you basically however we do have the ace of wands afterwards in reverse so what i'm getting here it's it's kind of like wanting this to be successful but not not just on a whim not just they don't want it to be like okay we're coming back together just for passion or whatever and then turning my back again All right because we have the seven of swords in reverse so I feel like this Ace of Wands, so there could have been times where you may have come together in the past or where it felt like you were coming together in the past um, and then it was canceled, right, in some way. So this is what they want success over, for that to not happen. And that's why that Seven of Swords is in reverse. They don't want to be dishonest. They don't want to be deceitful. I'm not, for some of them, maybe they were dishonest. For others of them, maybe they weren't. It's just that... Things just worked out differently than what they they had intended or what they were thinking. It's going to be different for all of you. But whatever the case is, I do see the masculine coming towards you. Maybe, again, it does feel like it's taking a little bit of time. Um, but it's because they want to do it the right way. They want it to be 100% successful this time around. So if you're not in communication... Um, it's not clear whether there will be communication or not. So, yeah. All right, so let's get a final message here to close out this reading, if this resonated for you. 
All right, and we have between worlds. And yeah, I feel like, you know, that's exactly where the masculine is actually right now. This might even resonate with some of the feminines where you might feel like you are between worlds, like, you know, moving away from, you know, the more difficult part of this, of this journey, you know, the more difficult aspects on, um, you know, emotionally, the triggers, all of that, and moving towards the light, moving towards something a lot more peaceful. But I'm mostly getting that this has to do with the masculines having, you know, one foot, um, back here, right, in the past, in the karmic situation, but one foot is already forward. It's like they, they're already seeing the light. They have already seen it and they have seen the truth. Again, going back to having um, discovered something, having seen some kind of a truth that was hidden from them before. I feel like this is just really emphasizing that point. And because of that, it's helping them to move forward. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, again, Happy New Year to everybody. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love.